All right, you guys, how are we? What is going on? Welcome back to the first episode of the top 10 greatest New Zealand All Black rugby players of all time. I don't know if the title is going to be that long. It probably won't be. That's not going to be good for the YouTube algorithm. But look, we're kicking it off with, uh, you know, the player that's probably closest to my heart, Daniel Carter. He's from Canterbury, which is where I'm from in New Zealand. Uh, he's an absolute legend. What I will say is that uh, a movie has just come out called The Perfect Ten, chronicling his life and his career. I haven't actually seen it myself, but I would say, you know, uh, go and watch it if you do want to see a, a picture that's been created um, about this, this guy's life. I mean, this guy went to Christchurch Boys High School, which was just down the road from me. Uh, in fact, I wanted to go to Christchurch Boys because of the fact that the rugby pedigree is so good. Um, unfortunately, I, I didn't get in and I ended up going to a co-ed school, playing soccer throughout high school, which is one of my biggest ever regrets. Anyway, this, this video is not about me, it's about Daniel Carter. I've got a couple of stats here that I want to read out and then we're going to get into uh, the video. The video you will see is an excerpt from this particular DVD called Legends of All Blacks. Daniel Carter, born 5th of March 1982 in Leeston, Canterbury, New Zealand. Listed as 5 foot 10 or 1.78 meters, 96 kg, so he's pretty solid, 212 pounds. Uh, he was a fly half, number 10 on the field, although he did play a little bit of number 12, which is uh, inside center. When Daniel Carter made his debut, he was listed as All Black number 1034. Daniel Carter played a total of 112 test matches for New Zealand, scoring a world record total of points of 1598, which still stands to this day. Daniel Carter retired from international rugby in 2015. All I've got to say is, what a fucking legend. Enjoy this video guys. This is Daniel Carter uh, and his career up to 2011. He played on for another four years after this point. Sorry, I forgot some major details here, major details. Daniel Carter uh, was named the IRB, International Rugby Board, Player of the Year on three different occasions. 2005, 2012 and 2015. He was also nominated on two other occasions in 2006 and 2008. Daniel Carter was also named an Officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit which is one of the highest honours you can achieve uh, for his services to rugby. So, you know, that's saying something. That was in 2016, the year after he retired from the All Blacks. The other cool thing that I just read is that post the World Cup 2015, apparently Daniel Carter declined an offer to head over to the States and become the kicker for the New England Patriots. I believe he may have disclosed that in his movie and also in his book. So guys, sit back, relax. This is Daniel Carter, Dan Carter, the absolute legend. Peace out. Dan Carter is the complete fly half. He has the speed and sidestep of a Barry John, the tactical awareness of Michael Liner, and the defensive strength and goal-kicking ability of Johnny Wilkinson. He is the total package. After making his Super Rugby debut for the Crusaders in 2003, he became an All Black that same year, displaying an amazing composure at the tender age of 21, and this despite being picked at inside centre. He was included in the All Blacks 2003 World Cup squad, but only came on as a bit part player in the latter stages of that tournament. Pass wasn't delivered though, so now Devine feeds it off to Spencer. Into the gap goes Carter! Daniel Carter! Here's the pass, watch this, he was able to run into the gap. And then the handoff. Well, I would say that Mark Taylor would be feeling pretty sick on that handoff. It was beautifully done by Dan Carter. Look at this, the right hand right in the, in the stomach, in the chest should I say. 33 plays 11. The All Blacks in total command here. Carter! They get him again, and it's another try! Weepu, Carter can hear wheels of magic. Carter! Carter! Kenny, what? What about Dan Carter? 
unbelievable. Oh, they're celebrating as if they've already won the cup. They know that's a special bit of magic. There was nothing on, yet Carter managed to shrug two defenders, duck under, step off his right and go round untouched after he crossed the try line. Evans finds Rokothoko, and Rokothoko is through. Here he goes again with that swerve. Daniel Carter, voice is trying to catch him. That's a fantastic effort to tackle him. So for the second time in the match, Carter standing on the verge of greatness, although on this occasion from a greater distance, can he go to the top of the all-black point scoring tree? He's there. He is there. Ball spilled forward. And Messam finds Muliaina, and here goes Toyava. Keeps it alive, and oh, New Zealand in with a try. Dan Carter this time. And that was so clean, clinical, efficient from the All Blacks. Try number two. Look at the numbers. Muliaina to Toyava. Again, Lament comes in. Pass there to Dan Carter. Hugo Southwell in no man's land. And it's just an easy try for New Zealand. Back to back tries. They're Come all in now. Look at them. They're all in. Oh, Get away, Rick! Great tackle and move! For the break. Don't go, no, no. Numbers on the right hand side. Numbers. Ma Anonu. And this is Conrad Smith chased by Shane Williams. A manufactured kick. Great pace by Shane Williams to get back. The ball is still loose. Dan Carter for his second try. What a performance by the All Blacks. What a performer. Dan Carter. Shane Williams is on his own. Ball pops up. Watch this. They both scramble for the ball. Pops up in the air. And it's usually the case. It, it favours the All Blacks. And that man Carter is there again. Rory Jane popping it back inside. Carter! Brilliant from Carter! Well, he's the basis for the attack. Early step inside. Offload initially from Dan Carter to Cody Jane. Back from, from Cody Jane to Carter. And what a finish. Stanley. And now the hands come. Beautiful pluck there from Carter. Carter so balanced. He's quick. He's making a mess of the welt here. Dan Carter! You are a genius! Ryan Jones looking to give the ball away. Who's there? Mel Amo. Great energy for Mel Amo. Fight his way back in. Looks up. Who's there? Brad Thorne. The other second row is there as well. For a 35 year old. Great energy. And then Hans. And that's it. Oh, 22 behind him. And there goes Carter. And again, he saw him finishing from close range earlier on. And this time from distance. All of 40 yards. Backs himself. And goes to ground very early as well. Carter has broken records throughout his career, most notably when he overtook Johnny Wilkinson as the all-time leading point scorer in Test Rugby. Carter is a true rugby superstar who totally merits his reputation as maybe the best all-round fly half that rugby has ever produced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Mine need me a couple dollars. Telling you now, this payback. Huh, so I take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now.